now we have both desktop and mobile version of our header widget but it's not responsive yet i mean when you change the window size it doesn't do anything it just shows this mobile uh, version of our header widget because that's what, what we are doing here so what we want to do is uh, based on this window width we want to show mobile or desktop version of our header widget so to achieve that functionality we need to use a layout builder widget which gives us screen size or window size information uh, that can be used to manipulate uh, our ui all right so for that we can wrap our scaffold widget with that layout builder widget so i can wrap my widget with my scaffold with builder and instead of this builder i will use layout builder all right this layout builder has builder property which passes us two parameters the first one is context and second one is uh, constraints constraints all right constraints something like this so this constraints contains information about the screen size or this window size and we are going to use that to manipulate our ui so i come here and comment out this header desktop and i actually make it const and here i will uh, use a condition if constraints i'll get the max uh, width uh, this will give us a maximum width available in our uh, window here because we are wrapping our scaffold basically this window uh, this windows max width uh, is equal to this max width that's coming from constraints all right we're going to check that if that is bigger than or equal to 600 so this 600 will be our uh, maximum uh, or minimum desktop width all right we are going to show this header desktop else if that's not the case we are going to show this header mobile all right now if i save it and come here if i change the window size when i reach to a certain point you can see uh, we are seeing our desktop version of our header widget so if i make it small now we have mobile version desktop mobile something like this okay i found this 600 uh, as the best fit uh for my preference so you can actually change it uh, to any value you want okay so another thing i want to do here is uh, this drawer mobile because we don't want to have this widget on desktop we only want to show this on mobile right that's why we can set a condition here as well so i'm going to use the same condition i'll just copy it if that let's check it uh, here and drawer right uh, this end drawer can take widget and that widget can be null as well and here i will put the condition constraints max width is big if bigger than or equal to 600 i'll check it i'll use ternary operator here and if that is the case if this is desktop this is saying if this is desktop i will use null i will assign null to this end drawer because i don't want any drawer to show up on desktop right so and else we can use this drawer mobile all right now if i save it nothing changes here because uh if if we press it it will show the drawer if we close it it's not going to be available here right so if we make it now that means we do not have uh, this drawer we, we have no widget that is assigned to this end drawer and that means uh, we we do not accidentally uh, or is open the sidebar or drawer uh, actually on flutter you can in flutter you can actually slide uh, this side and you can uh, get the sidebar open all right that's uh, we want to prevent uh, that from happening that's why i set a condition here all right so we can make this smaller again and here another thing we should do uh, when we uh, have this kind of things uh, this kind of uh, what is it some hard-coded value we want to put that hard-coded value in a variable we want to assign that to a certain variable and use that variable and that's a good practice because uh, if you want to change that value in some place let's say if you want to change this uh, i mean globally let's say and then uh, you need to change that value every in every place so that's why we can actually come here 
to constants folder and there we can create another file size.dart you can name it whatever you want and here I will create a new const uh, variable it's going to be double and I can name you can name it whatever you want I name it k.min k min uh, desktop uh, let's say desktop not that desktop width and it's going to be uh, 600 all right now we can use this variable every time we need them because actually we need this 600 value in in quite many places because we are making our website website a uh, responsive right so that's why I will replace this 600 with that k uh, min desktop width and I'll import that and I'll use the same thing here as well just like this all right now if we reload it we should have the same functionality as before you can see here it is working as before that's it